Hello, this is Indie Wrestling Q&A with Jason Neville. This is Chase Rawlings. Um, how long have you been in the wrestling business? Wow, how long have I been in the wrestling business? So, there, there's actually two ways to explain that. I've actually, I've been in the business for 13 years. You can count my training, you know, all that stuff. But uh, wrestling shows, much like the one I just did tonight here in, at SWO in Columbia, PA, nine years, so give or take. Uh, so who were your influences growing up? Um, influences growing up, I, I've always said this and you can see it in everybody, you always see shades of the people that you're influenced by when, you know, you're growing up and all that. Like obviously Shawn Michaels, Triple H, you see a lot of Ric Flair and Harley Race and all that stuff. Uh, me, no doubt, you know, was The Undertaker. Number one reason why I got into the business, first wrestling event I ever seen was Survivor Series when The Undertaker's debuted, so, and uh, also Stone Cold Steve Austin. They're definitely the two guys. and. You know, hopefully when I work, you know, doing the leg drops and, you know, all that stuff, the thrust punches and all that, you hopefully see some of that in me, too. So, how did you think of your name, Chase Rawlings? Uh, Chase Rawlings, a lot of people ask that, and a lot of people say that sounds like a porn star name. But, <laughs> I mean, honestly, by, by no means am I in any way, shape, or form a porn star. I mean, I probably could be if I wanted to be, but, no, it, it basically, Chase Rawlings, it's a combination of my last name, and uh, my mom's maiden name. So really, it's it's my heritage. You know, I left the gold thumb gimmick, I took the mask off, you know, and I, I was at a crossroad. I, I didn't know what, what I was gonna be. And there was a couple of ideas thrown around. They were like, why don't you be Raymond G. Thumb? And I was like, uh, I, I, don't, I don't like that. And uh, so then I was just sitting there and I was thinking, I was like, and it just came to me. I was like, Chase Rawlings. And, yeah, I went over to Jim and I was like, hey, you know, I'm going to be Chase Rawlings. And they're like, oh, well, you know, that's different. I like it, you know. So, Chase Rawlings, basically, it's just, you know, my heritage. So, so who are you trained by? Uh, well, a, a lot of people probably initially think that, you know, my initial training was by EWA. And, I mean, I spent eight and a half years of my career with, you know, the Eastern Wrestling Alliance. But I started training at Brain Busters Pro Wrestling Training Academy for MEWF back in uh, 1999, I was 13, getting ready to turn 14. So, you know, I was able to get a lot of training. I spent a little bit of time at Bone Breakers, and then finally I made it to EWA, and a lot of my training was through Derek Frazier and Ruckus. So, you know, all that. And then, you know, being with EWA, I got hooked up, thank God, with DJ Hyde. You know, he knows his stuff in the business. You know, I got to do Les Thatcher seminars, Al Snow seminars, and all that. And, you know, I thought I knew the business. Until, so, you know, I met DJ, and then, you know, once I met DJ and all that, you know, I f realized I didn't know anything about the business, so it helped me get better. So what other federations can Chase Rawlings be seen at, past and present? Uh, past and present, um, present, I've been around, uh, obviously, you know, a, a few, you know, MCW shows, you know, a few select MCW shows I've done, uh, SWA, you know, obviously here at SWO, which is where I'm at mainly right now. Um, trying to get things back in gear, you know, maybe, you know, go back to EWA eventually and all that. There's a company in the works called AWL. I might try to do some work with them. Um, Russell for HOPWF, uh, CPW. Yeah, there's just so many. Maven Bentley Association, uh, Zero One Wrestling, just uh, all kinds. Just get on YouTube, type in Chase Wallings, I'm sure, you know, all that stuff's online somewhere. So what is your most physical match you have competed in? Most physical match? Wow, I think uh, the most physical matches I was ever in, and I, no doubt, I've said this to him all the time, and if he sees this, it's no doubt, JD Bam Bam Roberts. <laughs> like, the, the one match that, sounds, that stands out in my career was the bull rope match me and him had, and, you know, I hope you don't mind this, but we beat the holy shit out of each other in that match. The, the next day, I had bruises all over me, you know, all that stuff. He, he sprained or fractured his ankle in that match, so no doubt the series of matches I had with JD were no doubt the most brutal and physical matches that I've had in my career. So other than Bam Bam Roberts, who else has been some of your favorite talents you've worked with? Um, some of my favorite talents, uh, no doubt Blood. I mean, me and Blood, we have, you know, undoubtedly that marriage that everybody always talks about in the wrestling business. I've wrestled Blood, or wrestled with Blood, more times than anybody else in the business, you know. Wes Mercer, you know, Sean Cannon, guys like that, you know, guys that I can just get in the ring with and know, you know, hey, you know, let's just do this and not have to worry about, you know, any choreographing or anything like that, you know, we can just get in the ring and go. So, you know, Blood, JD, you know, just 
guys like that that I've been in the ring with 10,000 times, you know, it's it, it's easy. It's an easy way to go. So how many titles have you won in your career? How many titles? All right. Well, I keep track of this, which shows how much of a mark I am. <laughs> but uh, I am a two-time EWA Maryland champion, current two-time SWO Tag Team champion, and EWA Heavyweight champion. So how did the bad trace rollings transform into this good trace chase rollings? Um, well, I mean, honestly, I think what it is is, you know, Chase Rawlings, and you, you've seen before, you know, the Chase Rawlings, when Chase Rawlings was bad, he was a dick, you know, just in everybody's face, you know, that's the way it was, but really, like, I, I didn't have a gimmick, I didn't know where I fell into it, I was kind of like, you know, one of those, you know, Benoit, you know, whatever, I didn't have a gimmick, I didn't know, you know, what to do or, you know, how to present myself and all that, and I was starting, the fans were starting to kind of turn. And they were starting to kind of, you know, cheer me because I was in EWA for so long. And, you know, I was wrestling a lot of the younger guys. And I just, I, I was basically like, you know, I need a change, you know, and all that. So I just started being more myself. And that's really all it was, you know, coming out the shots, you know, the party horns, all that stuff. I just get to go and have horn. fun and interact, you know, with the fans. Yeah, you know, he's got one right here. You know, just be able to interact with the fans and have a great time. And that, you know, that's what it should be about when you come in, you know, hmm. and come to a wrestling show. And, um... So, I'm trying to think of a question without a paper in front of me. Oh. So, where do you see yourself in five years and what are your goals? Where do I see myself in five years and what are my goals? Um, well, I, I think I've achieved a lot of my goals in the business. Like, yeah, I, I never, when I was a kid, I never said, you know, I want to be a world heavyweight champion. I never said, you know, <laughs> I want to be a WWE superstar. I said, I wanted to be a professional wrestler. And, you know, that's what I am. You know, a lot of people were like, oh, you can never do that. You know, you're too fat. You know, you're too da -da -da, this, that, and another. And, you know, I don't care what anybody says. And I'm very opinionated on this. You know, for all the people that are, you know, are big juice heads or whatever, you know, I can run circles around most of them. So, you know, being in the business and all that, like, I mean, I've done a lot. I've worked Jake Roberts, got to work, you know, Julio De Niro, Adam Cole. You know, you check out my OWW profile, you'll be amazed at some of the people that I've been able to work with in the business. I was on the 98 Rock Morning Show doing jokes for plugs, you know. Had a small little role in the wrestler movie. Unfortunately, my part got cut, so. But, you know, that was fun to do. You know, been in, you know, PWI Magazine, you know, all that stuff. So, you know, it's there. You know, I don't brag about it. There's no sense to. I'm just a regular guy like everybody else. But, I mean, I think my goals in the future, you know, just keeping the spotlight, you know, keep so the fans remember who I am and all that. And, you know, I'm currently working, you know, you may know on a TV show called Happy Hour TV. You know, that's my own show. You know, I host it with, you know, Alex Lunar, who's a former, you know, wrestler also. You see a lot of us on there. And I'm just hoping that that makes sense. Is it on the Baltimore? Uh, it, it's actually, it's on Baltimore City Channel 75, Saturday, Friday and Saturday at midnight, and Arundel County on uh, Fios and Comcast at uh, 11 p.m. on Mondays and 12 midnight on Saturdays. And it just started tonight on a uh, RIP Radio Network's RIP TV at 9 o'clock. So look out for it. You know, it's starting to garner a lot of attention. Okay, hold on.